Sunny and calm conditions greet the anglers on day two as they idle through approximately a 20 minute no wake zone to head out into Sturgeon Bay in the Bay of Green Bay. Of course, all the anglers are trying to get one of those coveted 30 pound bags we saw on day number one. We could see some topsy turvy because the conditions aren't anything like yesterday. After a great day yesterday, uh, I'm excited to get back out there and see if those fish are still hanging around. They might very well still be there, but we have completely different conditions today. As you can see, we're going to have gusts up to about one mile an hour today. So we're going to have flat, calm conditions. I'm in really clear water, and it's almost like you're fishing in an aquarium. It makes it a little bit tougher. Those fish aren't quite as active. You just have to grind a little bit harder and, uh, and hope you can grind out a good limit out here in Green Bay. We'll check back with tournament leader Joe Okada later. For now, we'll catch up with Gillette, Wisconsin's Daniel Woodkey. Starting the day in third, Daniel's less than two pounds behind the leader. We're here on the west shore of Bay of Green Bay and pretty calm conditions and just fishing some offshore structure and fish seem to be fairly active here the last couple weeks. And Hoping that uh, we do the same thing this morning. Fish. Alright, he's right on the corner and low. Get him. Nice. Got him. Nice. Uh, there's a walleye. This is Scott Roloff. He's in fourth after sacking up better than 35 pounds on day one. Most of your fish are coming when that bait's, I believe, actually laying on the bottom. They're pinning it. There you go. There's one. I'd actually love to watch a video of how they hunt goldies. It's got to be what they're doing with plastic. Back on tournament leader Joe Okada. It is almost 11 o'clock right now. We still have zero fish in the boat. By the time I get up to the other spot, which is another, it's a long ways away, that doesn't give me a whole lot of fishing time because you have to give yourself a couple hours to get back with that long no wake that you have in Sturgeon Bay. So basically, we just started getting a little bit of a ripple on the water. Uh, the fish that are here, our winning fish, no doubt, in my mind. I think I gotta give it another hour and then just start to scramble my way back home. There you go. Take your time netting them. Well over 10 pounds. Tom Keenan is one of the biggest names in professional right walleye here, fishing. Right, if he gets it in the net, this will be his first fish of the day. And it's a good one. Yeah, yeah it is. That's a giant. Holy crap, that's a hog. That's a 10 pounder. That's a hog. I started the day, baby. We just need four more of those. We win this tournament right there. Just made a move, fourth cast. Yeah. All right, you big Great girl. Fish. That's Great a big fish. That's a big one. Whoop. Made a little move here, not very far. Um, got a little bit of a breeze that came up and maybe it, Enough to turn these fish on along the shoreline. <laughs> nice. Oh, there. Oh, yeah. Whew. Nice job, right. Mike. Thank you. Nice job. And back on Tom Keenan. Down into it. Oh my lord. Big gold. Oh, is he pretty? Oh my god, look at him spit the stuff. Look, look at the stuff. There you go. Look, look at, at that. He just, look at the reach. Two of them. He spit out. When I was fighting him, look at the look at the net. That's amazing. Look at he look at he just spit out in the net. You want to see what they're eating? That's Elwes. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? And he spit one a giant one out in the water yeah. too. He just spit out it. No. He just spit out eight ounces. That's awesome. You got about 31 pounds, don't you, Tom? 
Pouring that now. <laughs> 